Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Genshin Impact. So a new update to the game and a new character has been released, Kamisato Ayato. Uh, you can find him in the new uh, featured banner and with him as well becomes a new weapon that you can find on the weapons banner. And now this is the trial version, so as always I'm gonna go take a look mm. at this uh, character. I'm gonna just give you guys my first impressions. We're gonna take a look at the talents, how his overall game style looks like, uh, constellations, the overall build, and then possible teams and possible synergies with this new uh, character. Now Ayato is gonna be a Hydro user and a Sword user. So uh, in this case with the trial version, he has the new 5-star weapon that I was talking about earlier. He's gonna have crit rate as secondary stat, so already very nice weapon. And uh, uh, it's gonna, with this weapon, the passive, you're gonna do more elemental damage plus more normal attack damage. So, uh, yeah, it's a weapon that uh, works well on Ayato, but it also can work well on other uh, sword users, for example, like Keqing or uh, even Ayaka. As artifacts, he has equipped here the new artifact set, uh, Echoes of an Offering that you can find on the new domain, on the new explorable area. Uh, and you can see that once again, it's gonna, two piece is gonna increase attack, and then four piece is gonna increase the normal attack damage. Um, so once again, is, there is a certain chance of proc it, and you can proc it like every 0 0.2 seconds, so like very, very quickly. Um, and yeah, that's just it. Now in this case, I'm gonna just look here at the details because it has like 56.2% crit rate and 182.9% crit damage, so that's very high. Uh, and then here are the talents. So starting here with the basic attack, um, he's going to have a 5 hit combo, and the fourth uh, attack is going to hit twice. And these percentages, of course these, all these talents are going to be level 8, but these percentages are pretty high for a sword user, so that's uh, that's good, you know? Now this is how Ayato looks like, and uh, uh, yeah, the basic attacks are going to be like this, so first hit, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Very nice animations as well, so let's take a look at the front, so one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, the charge attack instead is going to look like this, it's going to dash forward, plus doing damage. Uh, and then the plunging attack is going to do physical damage, and you can find the percentages right here. Now moving on to the skill. Uh, now the skill, you're going to use it, you're going to leave behind um, an illusion, and they're pretty much like Mona uh, skill, it's pretty much the same, but this illusion is going to explode right away if there are opponents nearby, or uh, after the duration ends. And of course when this illusion explodes, it's going to do AoE Hydro damage. Now, after you use the skill, Ayato is gonna uh, Ayato basic attacks are gonna be converted into this Shun Suiken, uh, and um, he's gonna do AOE hundred damage, pretty much like Child's uh, skill. It's like exactly the same. And now the his attack speed is gonna be increased by a lot. I don't know by how much, but you know these attacks are very uh, quick, and uh, of course this infusion cannot be overridden. And now when you damage opponents during this uh, state of uh, after you use the skill, he's going to do additional damage based on his maximum HP. You can gain up to 4 stacks, so you can increase this damage based on his HP up to 4 times. Uh, he has increased resistance to interruption, but you can't use charged or plunging attacks. This state is going to disappear if he leaves the field. So I'm gonna just take a look here because I think like showing it is a lot easier than describing it. So if he's standing still, he's always gonna dash backwards. This is the illusion, right? You can see here there are no opponents, so the illusion after six seconds is gonna explode. Alright, doing uh hydro damage. And uh, if instead you're moving in any direction, he's gonna dash forward and he's gonna leave the uh illusion behind. Alright, so that's just how it works. So if you're standing still, he's gonna move backwards. If he's moving, he's gonna dash in the direction in which you're moving. So you can also use this skill to dash 
uh, skill shots or to like to try to place yourself more distant from enemies. So, uh, so yeah, that's just it. And then if you try to attack, you can see that the normal attacks look like this, right? If instead you use a skill and you try to basic attack, see how the is different. So these are the slashes that uh, uh, are going to be the the are going to be dealing hydro damage bonus, right? AOE. And uh, these are the attacks that when you hit opponents, you're going to do additional damage based on the maximum HP, and you can have these extra stacks. Uh, and uh, yeah, during this state, you can't use charge attacks or plunging attacks. Now you can find the additional stats down here. You can see that uh, this uh, after you use the skill, you have these the combo changes. So you have a three hit combo. You guys find here the actual percentages. It's going to last as well six seconds. See the additional damage based on the stacks, and then the illusion uh, damage and also the illusion duration. You can see that the total cooldown for the skill is 12 seconds. So you can use these 100 damage bonus with the basic attacks for like half of the time. Then for the next six seconds, you're not going to have anything. You're going to have to wait for the cooldown to come back. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, the cool thing about this skill is the fact that if uh, if you attack right and uh, you move there is a little bit of delay so like i'm trying to move towards the left but i can't so see that normally there is a, a delay as well when you do, your, you do your normal basic attacks but the delay is much shorter he said here it's much much greater so like if you really try to move like it's gonna be standing there for a very long time so of course you can try to dash so you can try to attack dash and then attack again like this right and you can do the same here for the skill, right? But the best thing, and I think the the way how you really want to optimize Ayato is like you don't want to move at all. Like if you have to move, of course you can dash. But it's just the best if you just stand still and you just attack. And by just clicking different directions, see that he can just change in which direction he's attacking. So you can attack towards the left, towards the back and just like that so you don't move you stand still and you do damage Something if of course you. you need to move you can dash right? keep on attacking you can dash but uh, because these attacks are so quick and because it doesn't really last much the fact it's like best if you just stand still and you just attack and you just change direction so maybe there are enemies here maybe in the right side maybe in the top and yeah you're just standing still so i think that's just the best way how to exploit really to the maximum uh, the the skill now moving on to the burst, uh, the burst you're gonna create this area of uh, uh, this yeah this circle this area in which you're gonna be doing uh, hydro damage uh, and you're gonna be increasing the normal attack damage of characters. Now this area is super large, so I have here enough energy so I can show it to you. Animation. So look at the area, like the area is super large, and if you are inside, your basic attacks do more damage of any character, like uh, Ayato itself or your party members. All these characters are going to have increased um, normal attack damage. And uh, yeah, you can see that it lasts a lot of time. The total cooldown for this uh, burst is uh, 20 seconds, but it lasts 18 seconds. So there are only 2 seconds of when you, you don't have the burst and you can't use it again. It's going to cost 80 energy. Uh, but because of this constant, uh, you know, hydro damage that you do, uh, I think it's very easy to proc elemental reactions and to create a lot of particles. So, uh, so yeah, it's just a very nice, uh, very nice burst area. And yeah, here I don't know what happened to the game. Maybe, uh, yeah, just uh, can't stand in the trial any longer. So I'm gonna just uh, enter inside again. But yeah, it looks very, very nice. And uh, that's you know how the, uh, the how the burst uh, works, and because of the fact this is going to increase the normal attack damage, you can see here it's 18% at level eight of the talent. Uh, of course, this is good for Ayato itself. You can come with with this skill as well. Uh, you can uh, also like increase the normal attack for any other character, right? Like imagine Keqing, Child, Hu Tao, Eula, uh, Yoimiya. Um, Ayaka, or like even Razor, uh, Rosaria, you know, any character that you can use basic attacks on and you're gonna basic attack to do damage. 
are going to be having their normal attack increased. So of course it's a, it's an advantage. And uh, yeah, you can. You know, it's, this character looks awesome, and uh, because it's hydro, you know, you can create a ton of different reactions. If you're going with cryo, you can go frozen. If you go with like electro, electro charge. If you go with pyro, melt. So it's uh, you no, know, every it works well with like almost every element. So yeah, it's, it's, it looks very nice. Now the first passive talent is gonna you're gonna lock it with ascension one. In this case, after you use the skill, you, he's gonna gain two stacks already. And remember, the stacks are gonna just increase the uh, the damage based on his maximum HP. All right. And also, when the uh, the illusion explodes, you're gonna gain a maximum number of stacks. So, for example, if you use a skill and there are some enemies nearby and it explodes right away, you're gonna be gaining right away the four stacks. So you can right away do. Uh, like the maximum possible damage to enemies. So that's, of course, nice. The second passive talent, you're going to unlock it as Ascension 4. In this case, when he has less than 40 energy and he's not in the field, he's going to regenerate 2 energy per second. So this can uh, increase even further how quickly you can gain back the energy and uh, like be able to perma use uh, the burst. Like you have, you want to have the burst like active uh, as many time as much time as possible. So yeah, this second talent definitely helps And then the last passive talent it's uh, like exactly has Tao. So uh, when you cook you have a, a certain chance of creating a suspicious dish and uh, Yeah, that's it. So that's Ayato and now I'm gonna take a look at the constellations just to see you know the overall additional benefits that you can get in case you might be wondering if you really wanna spend your resources on this character now the C1, uh, you're gonna do 40% more damage towards opponents with 50% or less HP. When uh, you after you use the skill, right? So when you use the skill, the those hydro slashes that you do, they're gonna do 40% additional damage. C2, do you have one additional stack that you can gain? So the max of stacks are five. And when you have at least three, his maximum HP is increased by 50%. Right now, I think this constellation like, is the best one uh, because of the fact that it's going to make Ayato tankier. You're going to be gaining more maximum HP and you're going to be doing more uh, total damage. Uh, so, yeah, it's very nice. Like already C1, it's very good, but yeah, C2, it's, uh, I think it's even better. C3, just increasing the level of the skill. C4, uh, after you use the burst, you're going to increase by 15% the attack speed of all party members, so Ayato including, for 15 seconds. And remember that the burst lasts 20 seconds, so uh, like you can have this effect active 15 seconds or over 20, so you only have 5 seconds when you don't have this additional attack speed. So again, it's very nice. C5 is going to increase the level of the burst, and finally C6. Uh, when you use the the skill, the first attack is gonna create two additional slashes of water, uh, of hydro, and uh, they're gonna do in this case uh, damage based on Ayato's uh, attack. So in this case, you can see 450%. So that's a uh, very high. Uh, and uh, now these additional um, strikes will not be affected by Namisen. So they will not do damage based on his maximum HP. They're gonna just do damage based on his attack. And uh, yeah, pretty good C6, but uh, of course, you're gonna, it's gonna proc only once every time that you proc the skill. And of course, the skill has a 12 second cooldown, so you can only proc it once every 12 seconds. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just nice. And that's it. So overall, you know, I'm uh, like, I like a lot this character. As I said before, you can combo him with many, many different team comps, uh, creating like more uh, like a support when you use mostly the burst, or you can even try to go with him with more to be more like the main DPS. And so you use the burst and you use the skill, right? And you try to do as much damage as possible. And you use like sub DPSs like official, like uh, Raiden, uh, so you can you know create additional. FX even when the characters are not in the field uh, and yeah you know he has a very high potential so like if you have primogen saved and you and you're looking for a new 
Team Comp, I really recommend to go with this new character because it looks like awesome. And uh, and yeah, so that's just it for the trial. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see ya. Bye bye.